Why did you feel the need to make it so that actually Vecna is a part of this story from the very beginning? Just you, the viewer, didn't know that. Well, we've always wanted this sort of, you know, season one was really pitched, or what we saw of it is like the shark in Jaws, and then he's in this other world, and then he'll, drawn by blood, he'll comes up and he'll, and he'll grab some. And that's, but we always knew the second we started writing season two that we wanted something bigger that was controlling it something sentient and psychological and intelligent and something that you know especially someone that would be really scary for our characters to go up against because once they've gone up against just sort of these dumb monsters you need them you need we wanted to up the ante if you will and so it's just something that uh, it felt like we needed to do it to to both raise the stakes and then to give more of an emotional connection ultimately at the end of the day uh with with our characters (laughs) 